Hey there guys, this is Indium here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Right, so in the last episode, we finished up the majority of World 2, we only have the Jiggy left to get and a few more notes. Right, so the first amount, of, well, the notes that I've missed are in the castle, um, but I don't know if that was true in the last recording because, you know, I had to do some catching up and stuff because I died and I lost all my notes and everything, so I don't know if those were the last notes that I missed. But I'm pretty sure the notes, the notes that I actually did miss in the last recording was where the spring jump pads are, where you have to use Kazooie to use the shock jump. Well, there was a bunch of notes like stacked up, stacked up on each other, and it was yeah. I think that's where it was anyway. But I found out where our last jiggy is too, and what we have to do, we have to go give uh, Captain Blubber his gold. Um, because I did, I also did this off screen too, but I made a save state before I did it, so I could restore the save state once I did get the jiggy, and then it would just take me back to me just getting one more gold bar to give to him, and then he will give us the jiggy for it, so. And also I got a bit of a toothache too, so that's not good. It's the back tooth, it's one of my wisdom teeth, that's really killing me right now. <laughs> But I have nothing to cure that, so, <laughs> like, nothing to put on it to stop the pain. Because you can take stuff, like, really strong stuff to take away the pain for it, but I don't have anything in the house to do that, so. Alright, we're going to give him his last gold, and he's going to give us our gold, which is the Jiggy, and the final Jiggy in World 2. Finally! <laughs> and also, I've cr um, disconnected from the internet right now, so... All, all those tabs and stuff won't be coming up in the background and it won't lag. I'm also recording this in Fraps too. I'm highly confident that it won't lag though because Fraps is not... because because of those um, browsers aren't going to be popping up randomly anymore because I have disconnected from the internet so Banjo Kazooie should be Recording fine in hyper in not hypercam in fraps from now on. So whenever I do load up the computer and I am connected to the internet, I am going to disconnect from the internet, stopping those pop-up ads from appearing while recording. But unfortunately, when I'm recording with Galactic Cake tonight on Pokemon Fire Red, when we do our when we start off our Fire Red series, I won't be able to disconnect from the internet because uh, obviously you have to be connected to the internet to go onto Skype and that's what we use to talk to each other over the internet and that's how we record our videos so it's not as if I can disconnect from the internet while recording that but the pop-up ads aren't really that annoying with Hypercam or with uh, Game Boy Emulator I think it's just because of CPU consumption because uh, Obviously, Project 64 has a lot more, you know, graphical textures and stuff than Visual Boy Advance does, because Visual Boy Advance runs games like for Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, and those games aren't highly graphical like uh, N64 games are, so... <laughs> I guess it's... that's just my theory of it. I don't know if it's... if that's the reason why it does that, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to be heading to World 3 now. Wait, what am I doing? I haven't even gone to the painting, and the painting is in the lobby where the second painting was found, so that's where we're going to be heading now. If you remember, there was a shock jump pad in here that I pointed out, I think I did point it out when we first came in here. And yeah, it's right here. So we're going to use our shock jump to get to the third painting. Now this requires four jiggies, so remember World 2 required two because it was World 2, well now they stepped up the ante and it's now four jiggies to place in to fill in the picture, then th two. So yeah, <laughs> it doesn't always matter about the world number. I think World 9 actually requires you to have so many, like loads and loads and loads of jiggies to open that one. Um, Right, is that, there is nothing else that I'm missing in... No, nah, there probably isn't. Because <laughs> this looks like a wide, spacious, empty room. And I know there are no jiggies in there that we can get at this point anyway. There will be later on. I don't know if, if it will be from getting the Grunty Switch in this world. Because I actually don't remember where the Grunty Switch in this world is. In World 3. I remember where it is in World 4 and 5, I think. Uh, hell, some of the Jinjos I don't really remember that well, or where they are that well anyway. 
because it's been a while since I played this game and it's been donkey years since I last played Banjo-Tooie and finished that so if I ever do do a Banjo-Tooie LP the majority of that game will be done blind like for the last half of the game probably will be done blind World 2 I can remember pretty well in Banjo-Tooie World 3 I can remember well World 4 is where I start to lose um, lose my train of thought because I don't really, I know, I remember what World 4 is like, I remember like the setting and what theme it is. Uh, it is a water world, and it's the most annoyingest world in the game. <laughs> surprisingly, well, not surprisingly really, because everyone always hates water worlds, so. But yeah, that world especially is a pain in the ass, but this world is a water world, and it's not that bad, actually. It's short, short and simple. Just as short as World 1 is, in my opinion. Right, I'm probably going to go on a long recording session of this today, but I'm only just recording this video now. Um, if I do do a recording session today, it will be in a few hours or so. Because this is the video I'm recording today, and that's the video that's going to get uploaded. But I really need to start getting on top of my LPs, because I, th I feel I've been slacking recently. And not getting enough videos recorded. And then there are days where I don't feel in the mood for recording, and then I don't get any videos up at all. So it's always good to go on a recording session so you get a batch of videos so you can upload every day. And then there might be a day where you don't feel in the mood for recording, but you have videos spare to then go ahead and upload. And I did that with Jet Force Gemini, and it worked out pretty good. So I am thinking of going back to doing that again. So. <laughs> Uh, especially with Minish Cap, I do need to start doing some catching up on that because I am way behind progress in that game. I should have been near the final dungeon by now. It's now December and I started that LP in September, which was about three months ago. Well, no, not three, two. Yeah, two months ago. So... <laughs> and that tooth is really killing me, that wisdom tooth at the back. But I heard they're supposed to be really painful when they fall out, and, well, if the toothache is this bad, which it is, uh, I, can, I can't even imagine when that thing is going to fall out. Alright, so now we're going to head over to the main part of the world, because this isn't the main part, this is just like the entrance to it. And uh, you do get to see some jab inside Jabu Jabu kind of elements here in, yeah, like design, I guess, in, in design. But this game came out, well, actually, that's a point, that's a good point. This game came out before Ocarina of Time. This game came out in June 1998, I think, June or July 1998, and then Ocarina of Time came out in November or December 1998. Bzzz, I'm a bee. <laughs> Bzzz, I'm Clanker. Watch gar watch which is gr garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Oh, we got to save him. He's suffering in here because of all the dirty water that Grunty's been shoveling in here. Probably it's all of her uh, all of her bad urine from all that I don't know. <laughs> Which juice, ogre juice, she's been drinking? I don't know. <laughs> right, so where are we going to head first? Because this world is kind of... It is small, but then again, you have a lot of options here. We could open up Clanker first, or we could uh, get... Well, actually, you know what the easiest Jiggy would be to get at this point? Just to come down here. And this is probably one of the funnest jiggies to do in this world, actually, because you go on like a massive rampage of killing crabs, hermit crabs, miniature nippers, basically. <laughs> Snippet mutants, we jigsaw is ours. Fight us! I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so they got massive claws, massive claws here. So yeah, we just gotta try and kill them. Basically, and then we then they will give us our gold, which is jiggy. Oh, I want to try because if you ground pound on these, it kills them much faster, like that. But you can also take quite a lot of damage if you try and do that. And considering there are quite a lot of snippets here, never mind. I'm just gonna roll into them and then do it like that. 
Yeah, that seems the best way to do it. There we go, good as new. Beat him, snip it. Mutants, we are. Yours is praise. Oh, praise the holy jiggy. Praise the holy jigger. Give us our mighty wisdom, Mr. Jiggy. <laughs> we require your wisdom. Alright, so can we just like backflip from down? Oh, no, we can't. I guess it's kind of. It's a bird head. It's a bird's eye view, so it's really hard to see how deep that pond is in the perspective that you're looking at it. Anyway, that's the first Jiggy of World 3. The first of 10. The first of many. Alright. So now, uh, I don't know what Jiggy we're gonna get now actually. You might go hunting for some gingos. Because there are some gingos to get. <coughs> By the way, I beat Mega Man 2 today. So I do know what I'm doing for the rest of the game now. <laughs> so literally the whole LP will be not blind. It will be a legitimate playthrough with no save states. I actually haven't used any save states at the moment of how far I am into the LP. I didn't use any save states in the last episode. So that's something good. So as you can see I do have quite a bit of experience with that game. More than what I have with Mega Man. Mega Man 1, but I have been playing Mega, Wa Mega Man 1 over again to see if I do any better and I have been doing a bit better than what I did in the actual LP. For example, doing uh, doing Gutsman stage, I actually did the um, elevators, the moving platforms, without dying on the first try, so I guess I kind of got the hang of that pattern now. So I know exactly when to jump and when not to jump. Because if you jump at the wrong time, or if you jump at the, or if you jump too late or jump too early, you're gonna die. It's you have to be dead on precise with those platforms. Jinjo, yippee! <laughs> so there's the blue Jinjo. Actually, I've forgotten where all the Jinjos are in this world. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before I even came in here. I know I mentioned about. Uh, the Grunty Switch. But I, I, I think there's a Jinjo inside Clanker. Because you have to go inside him. But I can't remember. I'm not going to go ahead and say that you do find a Jinjo in there. And then turns out that you don't. And then I end up getting myself confused. And not knowing where I need to go. Because I messed up on my commentary. Saying that, oh, a Jinjo's here when it actually isn't. Maybe it's wearing the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter. Who knows? Harry Pooter. Alright, uh, so let's get the rest of these notes. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. I'm, so, I'm sounding more like Elvis. <laughs> I'm sounding more like Elvis. Well, wow, that doesn't sound like Elvis at all. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, so we're going to go into the gigantic tunnel of madness here. And at the end there is going to be a Jiggy, but this Jiggy is probably the hardest one to get in this world. Because you need to be really quick. You need to be Sonic Speed. Step it up. You're too slow. Sonic Speed. Yeah, we need to go super fast here. Try and get this. And then we have to get back out as fast as we can too before we drown. Don't get stuck in the corner like that. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right because we flap those feathery wings. No, not into the wall. <laughs> Don't go killing me now, Kazooie. I'm relying on you. Because Banjo's not doing any of the work here. It's all Kazooie. So if we die, I'm blaming Kazooie. I ain't blaming Banjo. Right, so we've cleared out the tunnels, I think, for the underground. Well, actually, no, we haven't. Because there's one down here that I've spotted. And I remember that this one has a Mumbo token in it. Remember. Alright. So yeah, for the Minish Cap episode, I'm probably just going to do the figurine, a bit more figurine collecting at the beginning of the episode, and then we'll head off to the next area, because I'm not going to postpone that area any longer than, like, any longer than two episodes, really, because, you know, we've already recorded 
one episode of me doing some, you know, side questy stuff, and uh, the second episode that I recorded was me doing uh, figurine collecting and you know what all that jazz and whatnot. And well, obviously in the next episode at the beginning, I'm also going to go get the stuff that I did for the Kinstone fuses, like get all the chests and stuff. I probably won't kill all the monsters that came out of it. Like the gold monsters that respawned. I'm not going to kill any of those. Well, I think there's a Jinjo right down here as well. I do remember there being a Jinjo down here. But this part is also very tricky because you need to follow the bubbles to get yourself air. So yeah, we're going back to Sonic stuff here again. You know, when you're, under, when you're in those water levels and you have to get the bubbles. The most annoyingest water level in any Sonic game, in my opinion, is probably Chemical Plant, even though that's not really a water level, it's just the second zone is a water stage. But the whole world isn't a water... I wouldn't really class the whole world as a water level as such, but it's just the final stage... well, the yeah, the final stage before the boss is, you know, really hard. I've never played Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I played Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and I'm missing all these notes right now. I play, I've play. i obviously played 3D Blast because I did an LP on it last year. Yeah, I, I, I might redo that game again actually because I think that LP was very sloppy. Not because of the microphone, that's not one of, that's, that is a main factor but it's not a, it's not like the biggest factor in my opinion, the reason why that LP messed up so much. The reason why I think it messed up so much was because of my gameplay. Like, I wasn't really that good at it at that time, but now that I've beaten the game, I might be a little bit more better at it, but it's been a year since I last played it, and the last time I played it was when I LP'd it. So, <laughs> I don't know how well it would go if I did redo it. And Earthbound is another game I want to redo. Conker's Bad Fur Day, I'm fine with it. I don't really want to redo that one again. Because uh, I don't really want to go through the effort of fighting the final boss on a keyboard. And if, if anyone's ever played Conker's Bad Fur Day on an emulator, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. That the final boss on an emulated keyboard on on an emulator using the keyboard is ridiculously hard. And it was even hard me trying to beat it with the control stick because I remember that I was struggling quite a bit in the fight. <laughs> Oh wait, wow, okay, we get a Jiggy for rescuing Clanker. Sweet. <laughs> I didn't remember that, okay. Clanker has fresh air, you find reward on Clanker's back. I'm coming, Clanker. I'm a-coming. I'm swimming at sonic speed. <laughs> Shut up with that, dude. Uh, it's just that Devon's gotten me saying that now. Devon and Tyler have been full of me full of derpiness and I can't help it. Right, there's also another easy jiggy we can get as well. Uh, by going on top of that screw. Taking a ride on the screw because I'm screwy in the head. Alright, so that's three. Now, damn it. Clanker, stop moving. You're making me seasick. It's like riding a boat. I, I actually don't fancy riding a boat. I've never been on a boat before in my life and I've heard that it's kind of sickening to be on one and to be honest with you, I wouldn't really feel that comfortable being on a boat. To be honest with you, I find air travel much more soothing. <laughs> and I know some people that aren't comfortable with air travel but are comfortable with boat travel. It just depends on what kind of person you are. I mean, some people aren't affected by any of it. I mean, there are some people that are even affected by car travel, and that's really strange. I guess it's just like the motion of the car can make people a bit nauseous. Ugh, right. <clears throat> yeah, that's four we've got now, right? <laughs> I don't know when to end off the episode, I should probably end it off when we got our fifth one because I've been recording since we left World 2 and that's been quite a while, I don't know how long my recording software fraps can, rec how long it can record for because sometimes it can record for like 
10 minutes, sometimes we can record for about 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it does record, but then once it's recorded it's full time, it will stop and then go on to the next video. So if it does happen like that, I'll have to merge the two videos together in Movie Maker. Anyway, we got ourselves 5 Jiggies. I think that's enough for this episode. So, in the next episode, let's play Banjo-Kazooie when I start my recording session. If I do decide to do that, I will uh, continue on with World 3 Clanker's Cavern. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, buddy. See you in the next video. And goodbye.